Ooh, sha -sha -la. Whenever you're a cat mom and you're covered in cat hair at all points of your life. <sighs> This is a mukbang. Ew. Hey guys, what is up? I literally have food in my tooth. <laughs> What's up and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be testing out silicone makeup brushes. So weird. I found these brushes on Amazon and they like piqued my attention. I was just like, yeah, we're gonna film a video on those. They were actually pretty affordable. Of course, I'll have them linked down below. They also seem like they could potentially be a gimmick. Is it a gimmick or is it not? I don't know. My doorbell's ringing. I have a delivery. I'll be back. All righty, I just got a really cool package from Benefit. Follow me on Snapchat, you already know what that was. Um, I am all over the place. I cannot think about what I was doing because so many distractions. But let's go ahead and jump into the video. But before we do, we have to sing a little jingle. This is one of my new merch shirts. If you haven't gotten it, check out the link down below. Shop LarlyLosAngeles.com. We'll go ahead and jump right into the video. Here are our brushes just to give you guys a visual of what we will be twerking with today. They are pink and they already low-key feel like they're gonna fall apart because if you can hear that, the glue is like kind of falling apart in them, but that's okay because they're so affordable. I mean, I didn't really expect the world out of them. I just thought the actual silicone brush part was very interesting and I wanted to film with that. With that being said, I have all kinds of shapes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply foundation with this. I'm gonna take my Milani Persil. Pers well, you can put the words into one. Conceal and Perfect Foundation. This is shade 5. And I'm going to, I feel like I'm like a painter spackling my face. I'm going to get some on the brush by doing this. Oh, it's so weird. I'm going to start painting my face. This feels, you know the silicone EV blender that I reviewed? It wasn't my favorite, but um, it just... Obviously, this is a silicone brush, so it's reminded me of that product a little bit. I will say, anytime you use something that's not a brush, the product just goes 10 times longer because nothing is absorbing the product. Mm -hmm. What I'm finding is I actually don't hate this product. I actually like it better than the EV Blender because it's more thin and the EV blender kind of was like a rock I feel like on my face and as you can see it's really bendy so I feel like it's not as rough. My foundation is not looking too shabby like I really don't hate this product. The only thing I will say is I feel like it tugs a little bit more than a regular makeup brush just because it is silicone but look how like flawless that looks. I'm kind of like okay. I'm not using quite as much product. I have to cover up this big old zit on my forehead. I'm so annoyed, but I'm gonna be in salt water. I'm just gonna dunk my whole head in the ocean and be like, hill, zit, hill. I think that is a stress zit, which is well deserved because, you know, as soon as I do like a all about me video, oh, I don't have stress and anxiety. And then just dealing with the makeup line and everything can stress you out sometimes. So that is my well deserved stress zit. And someone on Insta Live the other day said we should call him Oswald. So guess what, his name is Oswald the Zit. Hopefully he won't be with us for much longer. Um, okay, to be honest, I don't hate this. I actually kind of like it. Will I use it every day? No, because nothing can replace my Y6, but I actually don't hate the brush. Um, I feel like you got more use out of your product. Now this is wasted because I didn't know, but you know, it goes a lot longer. If you can look, my skin, there's no brush streaks. It's just pretty flawless. It was a little bit difficult getting around the nose area, but as far as the blend, I'm here for it. Next up, I have, I also have this interesting brush. I don't really know. Maybe I'll use, I'll use it for concealer. But I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in medium light, or light medium, light meat. Oh, light neutral, this is not my shade, very good. 
Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit because this stuff goes a very long way. And I'm gonna go ahead and brighten the under eye as well as conceal, do a little down the nose. And then I'm going to put a little bit on the chin to conceal as well. And I'm going to chest out this one. I think you can get creative with makeup brushes and you don't have to always use them for what they say they are for. I typically do that. And this just has that U shape in it. So I feel like it would be great for the under eye. But you can see it like tugs pretty hard. And I know a lot of people don't like that. And I should have thought, hello, this is going to make your product go longer than usual, Laura. Shouldn't have put as much makeup. So I feel like I have on a little bit too much concealer to blend out because this isn't absorbing any of the product, but that's okay. Oh, look at that. It's getting really tacky. Like, oh my gosh. Let's just keep it going. I'm gonna tap now since we are doing the under eye. I will say just because the under eye skin is so sensitive, this does feel a little bit rough and I do prefer a makeup brush. Again, the blend is flawless and it looks really pretty. It's not as bad um, like on the chin or the forehead just because that skin, that area is not quite as sensitive and can take a little bit more of a beating, if you will. But the under eye, I'm going to go ahead and not really recommend this for the under eye just because to protect your under eye and my zit actually hurts and this is way too hard and I'm like, ow, ow, ow. But the blend, girl, the blend is there. Like already, what do you guys think? I love reading your comments. I love reading comments when they're actually about the product too. Clearly the silicone product is for not powder, for more creams. But I mean, for shits and giggles, I put some powder on here. Oh, and I actually don't recommend it for powder because it picks up the powder and it like really presses it into one area whereas a brush I feel or a sponge is a bit lighter and it like really disperses the powder which is what you definitely want with your powders to be dispersed next I have this really like swooshy angled one and I think it could be really cool to blend out a cream contour so I have my matte quick shirt quick trick stick which is a little stick cream contour um this has been my favorite lately and we're gonna see what happens here's our angled friend but i don't know can you hear that like it's literally about to break off snatchy watchy I really just want to take a sponge so bad right now, like out of habit, and just go to town and get this blended. Um, I'm going to take this E54 and go ahead and swipe away the excess powder. Okay, now let's try to continue. I mean, it's definitely blending it. It just, honestly, this takes way more time than just a beauty blender or a brush. I don't like it for the contour. I feel like with contour, you have to be very precise to get the darkness in very certain areas. And with this brush, it kind of disperses it everywhere. And it's very difficult to get it in a precise area. So I actually don't like it with cream contour and the under eye area is a little bit rough before actual foundation. I did like the brush. I'm going to take an R8 brush and just polish this look off. Ow, I just hit my funny bone and it hurts so bad. Oh, God. It's like the second time I've done this this week. Next up, we have an angled brush. You guys can see it can be used for liner or eyebrows. I'm going to use it for eyebrows today because I have a liner brush on deck. I'm going to dip into my Benefit Brow Zings, which has powder and um, wax. So first I'm going to go in, oh, it's kind of difficult to pick up the product with the waxy side. Just feeling like this is the biggest not good thing I've ever done to my brows. It is so hard to get this product dispersed with this. I feel like brush hairs are the real MVP when it comes to like getting those 
that product in between the brows. This is not an eyebrow that I'm proud of. So I'm gonna dip into a little bit of the powder on the angled brush. No. Next we have an eyeshadow brush. This could be interesting. I'm gonna give it a fair shot by using a cream product with this. Obviously a powder product. I mean, I already tried it with the powder on my face. It didn't work out. Silicone and powder, girl, it's just a hot ass mess. So next I'm going to go in with, I've tried these out on my channel, like the eye goo. This one is an old slick. Oh my gosh, look how it picked up the product. Do you look at that? It picked up a lot of product. I'm excited about that. Um, Hi, hello. Let's see what happens when we apply it to our... Girl, you like how I did one eyebrow? She is not committed to that brush. Um, I actually just adore it. This is probably works 10 times better than even a synthetic brush when it comes to a cream or eye goo. Like this just was a real champ. I'm actually a little shook as to how well that just applied the product. And I feel like I didn't waste any product because the brush is silicone. Guys, I think we just found a new genius tool for our little cream products. We have a win as far as foundation and cream eyeshadow products. That was really great. For the other stuff, it was a little bit of a struggle bus. I mean, normally, just to be fair, I would put a, a transition shade. But it ain't about the transition shade today. It's about the silicone brushes, so we're gonna keep it at that. We're gonna wait on I we're gonna wait on my eyeballs to dry, and then I have a eyeliner one, which is interesting. Looks like this, but it's like a little eyeliner brush, but it's silicone. So I have a gel eyeliner we're gonna test it out with. Okay, I have coated the brush. This is an essence gel liner that I actually like a lot. It's very affordable. And now I'm going to go in and try to do this eyeliner. Can we just not be distracted by this eyebrow? Although I feel like I know you guys are distracted by the eyebrow. Here I go. Oh, that little boo-boo right there was my mistake. I'm not going to blame the brush. Um, I'm actually struggle on the struggle bus right now. And I feel like the silicone, for whatever reason, is making the liner get really dry really quick. It's also tugging my eye so harshly that it's really hard to get a straight line. I am going to try to wing it out. Part of me feels like my product is being a turd and not the brush, but I do like this liner, so now I'm like, what is the issue? Um, I feel like the silicone was so rough, it was snatching up the eyeshadow a bit and making it like all chunky through there. But as far as like if you were just doing wing liner, it was a little bit more difficult, but it can be done. My makeup looks a little bit wonky, but it normally does at the end of all these try it out videos. So with that being said, that is the end of this video and we definitely had hits and misses. I liked it for foundation and I liked it for cream eyeshadow. For eyeliner, it was a little more challenging, but clearly it can be done. It was just snatching up my eyeshadow. So if, if you are going to do wing liner with it, I recommend doing it without any eyeshadow down. I'm starving like Marvin, so now I'm about to go eat dinner. Thank you guys so much for being with me on this video. I love you guys to death. Be sure and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. And be sure to enter my back to school giveaway. I'm giving away a MacBook Pro, gift cards, beat by Dre, beats by Dre, tons of makeup, um, and all kinds of things like that. And you can just click right over here to the back to school makeup tutorial and you will enter through that video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.